Coming up, I'm gonna share with you a simple tool that you can use to create one simple link that can take your users to wherever you want, no matter what device they're on. Stay tuned. What is up, App Nation? It is Steve P. Young, founder of AppMasters.com, and we're gonna talk all about deep links. Yes, if you're not familiar with a deep link, it is one link that you can use to send users to anywhere you want and also manage their user experience. So for example, if I refer you to a product and you download this app, you might be able to see my picture. You might see Steve recommended this particular book and have you land. Or if you wanna run ads like Timu, here's an ad on Instagram. They're sending users to their website and they said, hey, you can actually get this in the app. Take them to the app, boom, right there. I'm in the app, I get to sign in right here and it's landing me directly to the particular product, which, you know, obviously I might want some backlights back there too. So this is what a deep link is all about. It's taking a user from your website. I can get into the app. I download the app. Once I download the app, I'm landed perfectly to where I belong. It's a seamless, seamless user experience. That's what deep linking is all about. And we're going to share with you the simplest way to get started right now. All right. If you guys aren't aware, well, the Firebase Dynamic Links, the deep links, are going away. And Airbridge has a great solution for you. If you're not familiar, if you've been using Firebase Dynamic Links, it's going away. Google is going to shut it down August 25th, 2025. So you got a bit of time, but you want to start now. Because if you're a big company like Timu, you probably have a lot of deep links. Now, this leads me to how you can use deep links. Now, they're very powerful. I know a lot of times we think about deep links and we're like, oh, we take a, like, if I'm sharing a product, you want to give a personalized experience with the person that shared it. Or if you're using influencer marketing, you want to give a personal experience, right? And you want to track all that stuff. But here are other ways. You can actually use it on your own blog post. Let's say you've got a banner on your blog, which I recommend you do, right? If you're writing SEO friendly blog posts and you're using SEO to drive downloads, it does work. And then if you have social media posts and you want to say like LinkedIn bio, you can do that as well. So you can set up Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn, Facebook, all that stuff. And you can track which social media platforms are the best, the LinkedIn bio, influencer marketing, affiliate marketing. We talked about that already. Now, here's the other thing, email marketing. That's going to be huge. I know one of our clients that does a lot of email marketing, they always use these deep links in their product. If you're promoting like a lifetime offer, for example, and you're taking users into the app, then you can deep link them straight into that offer and then track it. And so within Airbridge dashboard, you can see the revenues, the sales of all that. And that's what one of our clients does really well. So they have one dashboard that they can track everything into. All right. And obviously everything else here, partner websites. Duh. Now, I'm going to go fast on this because I really want to show off the tool and rather than trying to sell you and have a long lead up to Airbridge's solution, I'm going to go through this really quick. So it's seamless, right? It's that user experience, the seamless stress-free migration. So if you're on Firebase, easy, easy way to migrate to Airbridge from Firebase and then the best value. Look, it's only $200 a month and you can get started. So if you're in India out there, this is pretty affordable out there. And if you're using deep links, you probably can afford $200. Let's face it. Indies probably aren't using deep links. So if you are using deep links, $200 is not a whole lot of investment to give your end users the experience that they want. Now, Airbridge, look, this is why I'm skipping past. They've done some tremendous work with some amazing companies. They've been a longtime partner of App Masters and a longtime sponsor of the channel as well. So they've got some great partnerships. Now, here's what it is. It's seamless deep linking, which, you know, for most deep linking solution, you better be seamless. Otherwise, why would I use you? Here's what deep linking does. And I wanna hold on this slide a little bit. So just like I showed you with the Timu example, you have an ad and you wanna take users to the app. Let's say you're an e-commerce brand. Now, e-commerce brands, you wanna take them to the app because that becomes a more loyal user than somebody just on the web. 
So you will, if you can get them into the app and give them 15% off, if they don't have the app, what deep linking will do is take them to the app stores, have them install the app and seamlessly show off the same shoe or the same product that they saw on the web. Now, if they have the app, good on you advertiser, what, when they hit get the app, it'll take them directly into the app, open the app and all that stuff here too. If you're using web 2 app, you might want to do something like this as well. If you're not using web 2 app and you found that, hey, for e-commerce brands, a lot of e-commerce brands will take users to the website because it's just an easier experience. And Timu is doing a great job of trying to really drive users from the web to the app itself. So that's what seamless deep linking is all about. Lastly, I wanna point out just how seamless Airbridge deep links are compared to Firebase. So here you can see, unlike Firebase dynamic links, FDLs, they don't have any interstitials. So it goes straight into the app. Whereas here with Firebase, you're gonna have interstitial pages in between. So with Airbridge, you're going straight in to the app with no need for interstitials. Now let's see it all in action compared to Firebase. Here's a Facebook Messenger demo where Airbridge took less than three seconds and Firebase took a whopping six seconds. There's another one with a Facebook post, again, Airbridge wins, spoiler alert. And lastly, here's one through an Instagram DM. Again, Airbridge took half the time that it took Firebase for these deep links. Look, they're compatible with everything else, like everything else should be. All right, here we go. So this is the main thing. Every time you create a deep link, you get a QR code. You can use that QR code in offline marketing materials, think flyers, think and this has worked for other app developers but think these cards and these cards like if you have a partnership with a store like a brick and mortar store if you have a partnership with that you can use qr codes i've seen apps use qr codes as receipts when they're complementing a physical product so that's another way that you can use it but airbridge is the only tool that has this qr code feature. That is the main thing that I really wanted to highlight these particular features. And obviously you can custom brand it. So if you want to say appmasters.com or calm.com and have these deep links look like they're part of your entire brand, you can do that as well for those bigger companies out there. All right. Shall we get into the tool itself? Here it is. Here's Airbridge. And I've got one of the reports and I've got reports trend right here. And you can see this is a sample report that Airbridge has put together. And it's for their app right here. It's a dummy account, but I wanted to show you the type of details that you can see from a solution like Airbridge has right here. So you can see that the installs came from whatever channel, and this is something that you control. You get to control these particular links. And so if you're using influencer marketing, podcasts, these are great examples of you having a unique link for each and every single campaign and having a dashboard to see how well these campaigns have done. So you can see all the install data right here from the different channels, all right? The other thing that you can do, and here's one of the things I really wanted to highlight is this link generation. So look, if you're gonna set it up, I wanna kinda show you this too. You wanna install the SDK, and we are gonna show you live data for our app, Indie App Santa, and we're gonna integrate this solution into our app, and we wanna have a seamless experience because we promote app deals on Twitter and different social media platforms, and we wanna link newer users to our app to unlock the deal, all right? So that's how we're gonna do it, but after you set it up, here's the app settings. Now I wanna show you this real quick because Airbridge helped me set this up, but you can see it's linking to their app, right here, and then you can put your own website. So I wanna just quickly highlight that, but really get into the link generation aspect of it. And so here you can say, let's say for us, we wanna do a TikTok influencer, right? So that's the main channel. You can say the medium is gonna just be TikTok. You know, if you've done any of these UTM campaigns through PPC campaigns, this is familiar to you. So now maybe this TikTok influencer is Steve P young and then the ad creative is i don't know dashboard right now we've already set up the app links so that's going to be automatically done all right and if you want to use custom product pages you can so you just put in the link here now this is where it says if the person is on android go to the default store listing or you can do custom listing or you can even do a web url right? If you're really just trying to get people into the website, you can do that, but I'm going to keep it at the default. Here's the iOS. If you want to use custom product pages for the different influencers, 
great way to do that as well. Or you can use the default page. Then lastly, this is sort of like the backup. This is going to be your website URL. So th there's a backup too. And then you can put right here, hey, TikTok, Steve P. Young. So you put a custom short link. You can change some of these social settings too. You can upload an image. You can put a description at masters, all that stuff. And boom, you're done. You created the link. And here's the short version of the link right here. And this is custom. You can custom this. But this is then the link that you send to your influencer. You can say, hey, influencer, whenever you're promoting our stuff, our app, please use this link. Here's a QR code if you want to put the PR code in there as well. But that's how easy it is. And then if you're going to track the performance of this campaign, well, you come here into the trend right here. And here are the different metrics that you can actually pull to. So if you got events set up, like purchases, registrations, you can set all that up pretty easily. Right now we're just tracking installs, but you can set up different events that you want to pull. And it's a great way to do a more affordable solution to do affiliate marketing, to do influencer marketing. So you can truly track the performance of an influencer. All right. I know a lot of you are worried about what this migration is going to look like, how overwhelming it is, but don't worry. Airbridge FDL migration template allows you to quickly convert your Firebase dynamic links, your FDL links to Airbridge deep links. And the key is pay attention without code and without a developer. No stress. We're going to go through each and every step in this demo. Step one, all you want to do is export your Firebase dynamic links. Next, you're going to map your parameters to Airbridge tracking links. Lastly, you're going to paste the converted parameters into the tracking link generator. Boom. And now you've converted all your links into AirBridge links and no one will know the difference. Now you can go live with AirBridge deep links. Just copy and paste those links into your campaigns and you're ready to go. Just as good as FDL maybe even better. And the coolest part is no one will even know that you switched out your deep link provider. No hassle for you. And more importantly, no broken journeys for your users. Lastly, go check out Airbridge deep links. If you're looking for an alternative to Firebase deep links, FDLs, and you could use the link up here in this info somewhere on this YouTube video, or just use your favorite link into the favorite podcast app and YouTube description. And let Airbridge know that you heard it on App Masters. If you're liking these videos, make sure you hit that like and comment for any questions. We're going to go through a lot of our YouTube comments and start creating video content out of that. All right. Until next time, I'll see you on the next video.